you what I call the dirty brush technique. The dirty brush technique allows you to be creative while adding depth and dimension to your painting without a lot of effort. The dirty brush technique also allows you to have cool patterns and designs instead of a flat color. Today, I'm going to do the dirty brush technique on an acrylic painting of a watermelon that I have already started. I have made my background black to enhance my colors. So, when I'm doing the dirty brush technique, I'm going to mix on the palette and also on my canvas. I'm not rinsing my brush, I'm just adding water to make my paints flow easier. You can add many different colors and different shades and it will all look great. This is your painting so you can add as many or whatever colors you want to. I'm tracing the edges of my fruit so I don't get in to my texture on the lines that I have already made to distinguish the fruit from the background and also so I don't mess up my fruit. contrasting colors. Contrasting colors means that they don't, they go really well together, but they're not like a matching color, like blue and purple. I'm getting a little dry brush, so I'm just going to add some water and smooth it all out. I'm just mixing my colors and I'm not rinsing my brush. That's pretty much the main thing when you're doing the dirty brush technique. Don't rinse your brush. Because if you rinse your brush, you'll get, uh, you lose all of the wonderful mix of colors that you already have. Just work some different colors in where you think they're needed and you can mix your colors to make a new color or you can just blend them in to make streaks and patterns. Once you're done then you can rinse your brush. And that is how you can do the dirty brush technique. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Artwork by Haley, and visit my website at HaleySellmeyer.com. Keep creating!